Hey everyone, welcome back to the Saxtrician YouTube channel. My name's Jeremy and in this short video, we're gonna talk about why saxophone mutes simply don't work. Now, before we get into it, if you're a beginner on the saxophone and you're not sure where to start, check out lesson one of the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. You can watch it for free on YouTube and I've put a link to it in the description below. So let's get into it. So a common story I hear from saxophone players, particularly beginners, is that they live in an apartment building, they want to play the saxophone, but being the wonderful and considerate people they are, they also don't want to disturb the neighbors. It's natural then to start looking online and see if there's some sort of product out there that can solve that very problem. Enter the saxophone mute. Just typing saxophone mute into eBay, Amazon, or AliExpress brings up a ton of different inexpensive mutes to choose from. Now, saxophone mutes take a few different forms. Some resemble trumpet mutes that sit at the end of the bell. Some come in the form of a rubber ring, which you wedge inside the sax. And some are basically just molded pieces of foam, which you place somewhere in the tube of the sax. Again, usually towards the bell at the end. Now, these three types of mutes all have a few things in common. Firstly, they all involve shoving something into the saxophone to, I suppose, reduce the overall airflow and deaden the vibrations of the horn. At least, that's what they claim. Secondly, they all promise to basically silence the saxophone so you can practice without disturbing others. And thirdly, they all have terrible reviews. So. Why don't they work? Well, the saxophone works differently to instruments like the trumpet and the trombone. On those instruments, all of the airflow produced by the player is channeled through the pipe of the instrument and out the bell. So when you place a mute at the end of the trumpet, it's generally very effective at reducing the volume of the instrument. A saxophone, of course, has many different tone holes spread throughout the entire instrument. So the sound is literally escaping in all directions. In fact, the only time the airstream is all channeled out the bell of the saxophone is when you're playing a low B flat. That's the only note where all the tone holes of the instrument are actually closed. That's why if you've ever played the saxophone into a microphone, you get this sudden pop when you play a low B flat. All of a sudden, all the air pressure is shooting forward right towards the microphone. Now the mutes we just discussed, they may still have a subtle effect on the sound. After all, you are changing some of the properties of the saxophone. They might remove a little bit of the brightness and the vibrancy of the sound, but really that's about it. What they won't do is reduce the overall volume of the saxophone anywhere near enough to make any appreciable difference for those wanting to practice without disturbing others. But wait, there is a fourth type of mute which you don't hear a lot about. It's expensive, it's awkward, and it's essentially a padded case with armholes in it. Yes, you heard right, a case with armholes. Now, Unwieldy as it may be, this is the only design of mute that is virtually guaranteed to have an effect in terms of reducing the volume of the sax. The most popular brand that I've seen pop up online is called the Vibes Sax Partner, and I've put a link to a demo video they created in the description below. Now, full disclaimer here, guys, I've actually never used one of these contraptions myself. I have no association with the company at all. However, if you have used this mute or one like it, I would really love to hear from you. So please leave your impressions in the comment section below. So let's say you don't wanna purchase one of these armhole cases either. Are there any other options left for practicing the sax at home without disturbing others. Well, really, the only thing left for you to do is to consider the acoustic environment that you're in. Are you lucky enough to have a walk-in robe with lots of clothes that you can use for sound padding? Are you able to dedicate a room in your house for practice and soundproof it with foam? I know it's not ideal and it may be out of reach for many people, but these are really your best options. 
Of course, the final thing you can do is just try practicing anyway and see if you get any complaints. It might be there's a small window every day where you can practice without disturbing your neighbors that keeps everyone happy. Well guys, that's it for this short video. If you have any thoughts about saxophone mutes, leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to learn the saxophone and you're not sure where to start, check out the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. I've put a link in the description below. Otherwise, if you head to www.saxtuition.com, you can purchase the entire series and download it directly to your device. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the Sax Tuition YouTube channel for more great saxophone content. And I'll see you all again soon.